name is Peter McGlone. I drive for the King's Buses, uh, which is up at the university. And I've been here for approximately two and a half, three years. Um, they hold up to 32 people sitting down, but they can also have standing room only. So approximately 70 people can fit on them. So like a school bus. Well, one of the biggest things is to use your mirrors and your peripheral vision. So you need to signal lots of time ahead and then you need to make sure you've checked all of the six or seven mirrors that you have so that you're not turning in front of pedestrians and other vehicles and obviously you're also following all the rules that you learned about turning right and turning left and when to advance and when not to and signs and stuff like that. Uh, from a full stop, the main thing is that you want to signal um, at least six times before you merge into traffic. You also want to be matching their speed before you move into their lane. Because if you're going too slow or too fast, people are not ready for that. Usually the best thing to do as a bus driver is to slow down and let them pass or go around you because it's just too dangerous to have them tailgating you or to be in your blind spot. So you having the bigger vehicle, you're not as nimble, so you let them get around you. It actually was all the mirror work that you have to do. Um, in a car, you may use your mirrors once or twice here and there in your trip. But on a, on a big bus, you're using your mirrors all the time just to make sure the bus is in the lanes. Uh, and you're also making sure that there's not, uh, your wheels are going around the corner, not over the curb and things like that. So you have to use your mirrors all the time. And that was a big learning curve for me. Um, I like that you're constantly being thanked by customers actually because they're very happy that they're getting a safe trained driver to take them where they gotta go and I also like that um, their the point of view is up higher so you can sort of see at least in front of you you can see a lot better than in a car but you still need the mirrors I know I talk about mirrors a lot <laughs> Um, a lot of people said that the customers would be unruly and hard to deal with on the bus, but I've driven charters full of people to events in Toronto and it isn't that bad. They're actually quite appreciative and nice to you while you're their driver. Use your mirrors and your peripheral vision all the time and your ears because you can hear things before you can see them sometimes. <laughs>